Hey guys, what's up? It's X Dynasty HGX. Um, basically today I'm back, and I'm basically going to show you what you saw in the preview. And first, you're going to want to download this. I'll put a link in the description. Like, I wasn't the one that made all these models or found this, but... Um, somebody taught me, so... What you're going to want to do is open up Cinema 4D. It doesn't matter if it's R12 or R13. It's easier in R12, at least for me. So, yeah. On. It, yeah, but, um, if you guys could subscribe to my channel, it would really help because I'm going to be putting out a lot more good clips and montages and all that. And, yeah, so, putting up those CDs right now, basically, until I get, like, 100 subscribers or something like that, or at 100 subs, I'm, I think I'm making a, um, editing contest weekly, and then 200 and on is, like, montages, so, yeah, but now back to the tutorial, um, what you're gonna wanna do is open up this bipod, or bipod setup or whatever, and you're going to want to open up the one that you want. So I'm just going to, I guess I do spec ups. But, um, yeah, so. Yeah, hold on, let me use something else. Doesn't look too good. Um, I'll do the sniper. Since y'all already seen the sniper, so. Which is the one that I used in the tutorial, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, so. Which you can see right there, but right here you can't really move anything. So you can't move his arms or anything. So what you're going to want to do is scroll that down. Or you can just click on that. Select children. Go down here. Right click on it. Well, I don't think you really have to. Just click on it. Go to command and hit bind. Now basically what you're going to do. You can you click on whichever part of the body you want. So I'm gonna pick the right upper arm, and you can just move it. I mean, it takes a while to get used to, but as you can see, you just move it, which is like that. Hold on, as I did in the video, I'll show you. Um, yeah. So hold on. Right. I went up to about five, I think, or no, it was ten. And keyframe pulls arm up, turn it up like that, and then yeah. So now move this forearm sideways, so it's straight up. Now just go about five, move it this way, and then stop it. Now about every ten frames, you're going to want to keep framing it, just move it as far over as you want, so I'm going to put it right there, and you're just going to keep doing this, take it all the way, so I'm going to do that real quick, and yeah, this is really easy, I mean, you can do a lot of stuff with this, I mean, I just figured out how to do this today, and is that all I can do, but still pretty cool, I mean, you can make them run through different maps and all that, but I'm just gonna make them wave. Since I think that's pretty cool. I mean, making just objects that they put in games and stuff. Yeah, so right here, I'm just gonna put his arm back down. look at it, shows it going up, waving, wait right there, it screws up, because I'm not really good at putting keyframes going down, so I'm just going to leave it up, and it just waves, it just keeps waving, and then right about the end, he'll just stop, yeah, which I think is pretty cool, I mean, I'll leave the texture packs and all that in the description, 
But um, yeah, so rate, comment, and subscribe, and I guess I'll see you in my next video, which will probably be no CE. I might put up a commentary, I'm not sure yet, but um, yeah. So, later.